What do you say we go about actually getting a mission going, huh? <laughs> it's been a bit of a, a bit of a bit of a slow start, but they, they threw a lot at me. It's a lot to get used to, so I've customized a bunch of my gear, I've leveled up my character. I only have one AP to spend right now, so we're not gonna go any further. Ooh. Got a few things going on here. The basics. You complete all the orientation tasks of offered in your training mission, 5% discount on all purchases from Saudi vendors. Okay. Betting man. You completed Agent Darcy's training challenge. 5% gadget discount from Saudi vendors. So that's like a 10% at that point. For, but for just for gadgets. Okay. So one of the main things that stands out is that when you look at Intel... Here's all my missions. My missions say that... There's additional Intel available in the store, but we don't have any. So... Let's go to the store. See about buying Intel? Here we go. Oh, I should have looked about look at some of these more. Fuck. I... <laughs> part of me is like trying to push forward because we're taking so long. So maybe... I'm going a little too fast on some of these details. There's an entire menu of, of uh, wow, and upgrades too. So there's an entire menu dedicated to gadgets, and an entire menu, menu dedicated to Intel, and they're not cheap. I spent a fair bit of money on my guns, which may be a mistake. You can bug Al Samad Airfield for $600? What? Sniper rifle dead drop. Oh, okay, the names are- these names are just what mission they're for. So let's do the airfield first, because I was looking at that. And it looks like the- the- the drop- the resources for this one are pretty cheap, too. So dossier information on Al Samad. Purchasing this intel will expand your dossier on Al Samad's terrorist organization. Which should- I think that increases my damage against all of them, too, or something? It's 5k. A mission map for Bug Tower mission. For a small fee, a surveillance copy will provide you with a detailed map of Al-Samad's airfield. Hmm. Sniper rifle dead drop. Leave a precision rifle in a pre-arranged location for use in your mission. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the... Intel. I've been trained to think that that's important at this point. What kind of effect have we had on that? Faction, al Samad, 66% complete now. Like this bottom part's new. al Samad's soldiers are loyal, but not generally well-trained. Elite agents amongst their ranks of the organization, usually identified by red ski masks, have better training in weapons than the rank and file. al Samad's danger lies in their numbers, and their quick response time in calling out alarms and alerting the rest of their cells of any intruders. They're usually armed with dated assault rifles. So their main advantage is that there's a ton of them, and that ton of them responds to alarms quickly. They're not super well trained, but the best ones are the ones that have red ski masks. Those are the elite units. Part of me thought that if I get better dossier, you might do, get a damage bonus against everyone in that entire crew. Like, I might, I might have just jumped from 50% to 66% or something. But, um... What, am I, what was I going to try to say? Uh, I think he dropped a line at one point saying that, like... While you get a damage bonus against individuals, the ones that... Are, the dossiers against groups don't have the same bonus or something like that. We'll see. I'm feeling this game out. There's a lot to figure out. I haven't even checked my email yet. Is there a previous one? Nope. From Mina Tang. Slush Fund. Mike, I'm guessing Westridge already gave you the lecture about not using agency funds on high-profile assassination missions. Aside from what's in your safe house, you'll have to make use of whatever you can borrow, swipe, or steal. If you need supplies, try the clearinghouse. It's a black market internet exchange. There's a seller there named Mongoose who should be able to provide you with the basics while you're in Saudi Arabia. And speaking of stealing, a contact of mine in the US government just dug up 
an Alsamod slush fund buried in a Jordanian bank account. I've enclosed the login credential and password in an attachment. Just download the data, and a self-extracting executable will transfer the funds your way. And do it soon, before the government amateurs finish filing the proper paperwork to seize the account for themselves. Keep an eye out for any other funds you can abscond during your mission. We're not worried about journalists and investigators following money trails in circles around the globe, as long as their search never takes them to Alpha Protocol. Download. Hello. Surprise 10,000. Alright, well, I got more money now, guys. Alright. And I specifically got... I think that thing we just heard about is what I, ju what I get a bonus for because of my hacking ability. Like, I, th I think I got the one specifically that gets me better rewards for those hacks. Which... That's paying off immediately. That's good. I guess we can archive that. Oh my god, a manually organized inbox! Ah, I'm gonna lose my shit! This is what I'm always asking for. Because there's this really annoying thing in video games where when you scroll, it often marks it as red. See, they're all red now. I'm like, I didn't read those, I was just scrolling through them, asshole. But it doesn't matter because there's a f fucking archive button, which means everything in this inbox is just stuff that I actually want to read. Because if it's, if it's, if I'm done with it, I'll put it in the archive. I can manually organize my fucking codex entries for once. Every game needs this for every menu that's even slightly like this. I need to be able, I should always be able to manually mark everything as red or not red. Ah. Or like, some of them do it where you only mark, only mark, uh, you just see the titles and so on, and then you click on it, it opens it. And then you, then they know you've read it because you have to physically open it manually, not just scroll through them. But yeah, this is just, ah, uh, this is one of my pet peeves and it's, it's, it's right for once. They did it. They did the right thing. Thank God. Ramina Tang, your cover email. Hello, Mike. Welcome aboard. I've already set you up with an email address you can give to people you meet in the field. Not only is it against regulations to hand out your agency contact info, it's a pretty sure fire, fire way to, of getting reassigned to Greenland, Weehawken, or some other ass end of the world. mthornton at howbeck.com don't worry, the email won't sit on some corporate server. I made sure all mail in and out gets redirected to an encrypted server that you can access from any computer that's running the agency's decryption key. Your logon pass login password is... Able Danger? Minus the quotes, of course. Uh, change it when you first log in. Let me know if you have any questions. Reply? Wow, you actually get to see what, uh... You actually get to see what they're gonna say. And, like, the other choices. Photograph. Uh... Thanks for the warm welcome. Glad to be part of the team. ba -bum. There you go. And it's marked as replied. There you go. Archive. Sean Darcy, Mission Sandworm. Mikey, Westridge put me in charge of logistics for the run and the detention camp. Should be fun. Some things you need to know. The mission comes thanks to a local contact of mine. Yeah, I've got a ton of contacts in the area. What can I say? My grasp of the Arabic language is rivaled only by my charm and modesty. Seriously. This guy's a cool cat. He's a double agent and has everyone in Al-Samad convinced he's one of them, so he gets pretty solid leads. Though he doesn't work cheap. I've studied up on the base. It was built into a sandstone cliffside in 1960 when Gamal Abdel Nazar, second president of Egypt, was trying to start an anti-Saudi anti uprising in Yemen. That's right, I'm a history buff. Anyway, it's nestled into the ridge in such a way that it's hard for centuries in the base to get a clear view across the terrain. We'll drop you outside the base and you should be able to get in close with no problems. Local weather patterns suggest a sandstorm will hit soon. It's about as likely as sun in Los Angeles or rain in London. We're going to... We're going to time your mission with a sandstorm. Take advantage of the reduced enemy visibility and hearing the storm provides. I'll be your handler for the mission, but not your nanny. I know I'd tackle this mission with stealth, and a shit ton of explosives when it fails, but I don't care how you get things done. I just care that you get things done. 
I'll make sure all my friendly contacts are off site, so don't worry about killing friendlies. Aside from that, well, should be simple in and out mission. Just follow my lead and we'll kick ass, take names, save the world, and be home in time for a trip to the titty bar. Good hunting, Sean D. That seems like a security leak, potentially. Like, what if what if you have some double agent type people that are playing both sides? Like, he's going to make sure all of his friendlies are off-site, which means that he's telling a bunch of people we're coming. Since the agency spends all its money on, secure, on secrecy and not enough on guns. Hey, Mikey. If you need supplies, I have a local contact that should suffice. His name's Murad. He's a shameless mercenary of an arms dealer, unafraid to peddle any weapon to whoever offers the cash. And I mean that in the nicest way. A lot of locals would just as soon blow up, uh, blow up anyone from a NATO country, but Mirage shows the, that capitalism beats racism and, gen and xenophobia any day of the week. Have you visited the clearinghouse yet? Well, I've made sure you're patched into the Mirad Selective shortlist. When you log in, you'll see what he has for sale. Peace, Sean D. Hmm. Capitalism will go right past their racism and xenophobia. It's like, ah, this, this is the, we're in the middle of the war in the Middle East. It's like, a lot of these people are mad for reasons that make a lot of sense. It's the part where, like, by the time this game came out, we're like a decade into occupying these countries. And now in real life, we're now two decades into that, and it's just like, this is just the forever now. Not quite enough to afford the even the first kind of armor, let alone the really crazy looking stuff. Epinephrine spike. Increases recoil control, sh uh, strike damage, and damage resistance. Those seem like a big deal. Radio mimic lets you fool enemies into turning off the alarm. A combination radio transmitter and voice distortion device used to send false signals. The radio mimic allows the user to call off an active alarm by sending a deceptive all clear message. Limited battery power and the potential to be traced allow mimic device to be used only once. That's a, that's a hilariously limited battery power. That has to be a video game consumable, or then, or else, what do you do? Is that really what EMP looks like? Because that's the most video gamey thing I've ever seen. Appreciate that you can upgrade these kits. Ooh, increase the number of first aid kits carried per gadget inventory slot. There's some things here. This is reasonably cheap. I might want to get this this uh, map. How badly do I want a precision sniper rifle? I just feel like we're going to want to be going in with stealth, aren't we? It seems like the wrong thing to be bringing along. Is uh, because you you think you'd want to kind of ghost, not shoot everything. But I guess you could just attack everything too. That's one option. All right, let's finally get in there. Oops, this menu I think. I think I went most places now, so let's try a mission. Bug Samad Airfield. And start. Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. What do you think? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. Speaking of which, anything new on Shahid or the other leads? Not much more at the moment. I know Parker and Darcy are trying to dig up as much as they can through contacts and surveillance, though. Anything come up you need my help with? So you've been without for protocol a while, then? 
Not as long as Westridge, and not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner? Well, we'll catch him this time. He won't get another chance. I hope so. I feel like if we'd been a little quicker with analyzing the data... Don't beat yourself up over it. What's done is done. Let's focus on the next step. You're right. We're closing in on him, and it shouldn't be much longer. Still, with Alpha Protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Complicates things? As in, they're a potential embarrassment to Helbeck? I think that's a big part of it. U.S. weapons used to kill U.S. citizens? Wouldn't look good on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Sounds like you have some doubts, Mina. No, 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 it's not like that. Not really. I mean, other agencies wouldn't approve. But that's not my call. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? To beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. This seems like a big assignment for a new hire. There must have been other candidates. There were other candidates, including Darcy. But the recommendation was based on Parker, Westridge, and me. Although when I made my recommendation, it wasn't about Shahid. It was about the larger mission. So why me? Because I think when given a choice, you're going to choose the people of a country over the heads of state. And that's not a choice many people here would make in the same circumstances. Especially Darcy. To be fair to Darcy, though, he has family issues that prevent him from going. Notably, his father. According to your dossier, your family isn't an issue. Is that all I am to you? A dossier? Until you arrived at Alpha Protocol, you were. Not anymore. I think you're someone who does what's right. And that's what I'm counting on. Can you tell me anything about Shahid? Not much more than you'd find in his dossier. His personal fortune doubled in one year when gas was $4 a gallon. And he likes feeling safe when he travels. What do you mean, safe? While well, Al-Samad is mostly untrained civilians using Cold War guns, his personal bodyguards are well-trained. And judging from the missile used on the airliner, let's just say he makes sure they have cutting-edge tech. Can you tell me anything about my mission here in Saudi? Probably nothing Westridge hasn't explained already. If you infiltrate the airfield Shahid uses, I may have more practical advice. Why is that? I'll be your handler for that mission. Don't worry. I'll be gentle. I know it's your first time infiltrating an airfield. As long as you're backing me up, I think I'll be in good hands. That's very optimistic of you, Agent Thornton. But I appreciate the trust. That's all I need. Thanks, Mina. You got it. Call me if you need anything else. This game showers you in perks, doesn't it? There's so many updates that happened during that conversation that it'd be difficult to even track them all. Try not to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. I'm inside. <sighs> sure is a lot of security. Tell me about it. There's cameras all over the place. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Just started this mission like five feet away from this guy. Uh oh, there we go. All right, I guess he turned around right when I was about to get him. Camera's pointing that way. Can I pick up the body? No. I mean, I guess the camera didn't notice him the first time. Holy crap! You start this mission like five feet from an enemy. Uh oh. Well, that's not fucking good. Holy fuck, stealth is hard in this game. Like, oh my god. I just want to see what I got here. Testing the waters. 
To keep your targets guessing, you've attempted being suave, professional, and aggressive all in the same conversation. No, I... not really. I think it's still counting my three dialogue options as being suave, professional, and aggressive, even though oftentimes they're just choices. Like, it was just three things I could ask about. It's like how on the dialogue wheel in Mass Effect, different directions usually mean certain things. Like, one direction is often Paragon, and one direction is often Renegade. But then you do, like, a dialogue choice on the right, and it opens up, like, a new menu. And it's like, here's six things you can just ask about, and their locations don't really mean anything. That's kind of what happened there, but it gave me an AP point for being so crazy, and I'm like, that's not what really, really what happened. Constant encouragement, too. So it's, it's gotten stronger, because I, I raised her rep even more, so now the endurance bonus is all the more higher. Okay. Fuck, what am I about to do? I just got caught... Like, immediately? Fuck. I guess he sees me. Where did he... I don't understand where I come from. Can... What? Ah! Uh... I don't understand where he came from or how he saw me. Fuck you. You gotta charge that shit up. Where'd he come from? I guess the first guy must have just... Like, that must have made noise, that encounter. That led to him coming. Can I really not jump over these? This is exactly the type of shit you can normally jump over. Alright, well, stealth is blown instantly. Fuck. <laughs> stealth is surprisingly hard in this game. I'm playing... Can I really not jump over this either? Whoa. How did I do that? Was that a glitch that happened? Maybe? Alright. This is some A plus combat so far. An A plus stealth. I'm kind of just baffled by it, mostly. Let's see, what's the switch weapon button? Is it Y? Yeah. Relatively standard-ish. I guess you just can't leap over tiny ledges, which is fucking weird. It's so natural that you would think you could do that. Oh. Crouch, crouch, crouch. There we go. Alright, peace stealth. Wow, I thought there was an invisible wall. I legit thought there was an invisible wall between us, but that was just me missing somehow. Because suddenly I destroyed him. Is he... He might be dead? He might be dead. Stop, 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 stop. I think it's just the moment you get spotted by anyone and you fail to do a to tactical takedown. Like, that's, that's it. Everyone, you're instantly in an alarm state and not, you can't escape it. Because at least, or at least somebody's gonna run over and take a look. Because like, I went up to sneak up on that guy, and then he like very abruptly seemed to notice me right when I was about to do the takedown. 
I was like looking for the prompt to pop up, and then boom. And then that, that that that's that entire section on is just done as far as stealth goes. That's rough. Uh get you down here. We've got a guy up here. Curious if that means there's stuff up here at all? Nope, his body vanished. No. Go there. There we go. That's a neat trick. Seeing the general situation, I'm thinking I'm going to regret specializing in shotguns. The zip line. There's my get over the gate option, but I already opened it, so... There's a bunch of parallel options right now, I guess. That's interesting. He said some of the elite are, are here, so if I take them out now, I don't have to deal with them later. Suggesting that these elites can show up in other missions later. I, I think that's what they're saying. Like, I'll, when I do the other two missions, things can show up there. So this, this is something I should think about in the future, is I think the order in which you do these three missions, for example, affects how they play out. Two elites. A stealthy takedown would be ideal. Just can I expect to get in here stealthily? He's facing that way. Maybe when he turns around, I can look on the other guy and see where he is? Okay. Woohoo. He's gonna turn around any second now, right? Is he currently seeing me? Are you spotted? Are you fucking spotted instantly in this game? Holy shit, man. Dude, you're spotted. There is no warm-up sequence. You are spotted instantly in this game. Holy crap. This is the hardcore stealth game right now, huh? I'm playing... I'm, I've got, like, Ghost of Tsushima and Last of Us playthroughs that are airing right now, but this is the hardcore stealth game right here. This game's impossible. <laughs> well... Whenever I... Whenever I... I mean, I can upgrade my stealth, so we'll, I should think about that. Clearly. Fuck. And we'll have to think about it. Um, I didn't even think about that till just now that I'm like... I'm layering on like my third stealth thing. Yeah, I don't know what my one point in stealth gets me, but it seems to not be being good at stealth at all. Maybe there's a detection time later, I don't know. Just the tiniest peak and instantly he was like chasing me and he knew exactly where I was. So you, you can't just hide by breaking line of sight because they just run to your current location. I'm thinking this game is beloved for its uh, replayability and story choices more so than its uh, stealth and gun combat. <laughs> That's 
that? Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm. The ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though. Is there no one in this building? Sure seems like it. I guess they may have been drawn over by the gun the gunfire. Which which one? A or B? Yes. Both gunfire. Um, I don't know if you can jump there. I could slide down, but that's just where we started over there. So that'd be stupid. Is this gate opened? Not yet. But I can reasonably get past. I can definitely see why a sniper rifle would be useful for this map. Look at these. Look how much advantage you have for that kind of thing here. I don't think jumping across is an option for him. Use zip line. It goes there. He turned around. Oh, that went less high than I thought it would. That was all the way up there. I really thought the zipline would take me there. It took me down. <laughs> Alright. Ziplines are not entirely trustworthy. Ooh. Ooh, he rolls out of cover from stealth into standing position. Did he just spot me? What was that weird fucking move he just made? <laughs> I can't tell what state his AI is in right now. Never mind the false alarm. Oh, fuck. Jeez. I'm dead. What was my health at? Oh, the bomb. I didn't run away from the bomb fast enough. Holy crap, man. <laughs> Holy crap. This is the dickish, dickiest stealth ever. Okay. Is it just the fact that I don't have enough points into it? Like, is it just that far down? Holy crap. And that's that. Good job. You've shut down the hangar cameras. Mm, the ones at the tower are on a different circuit, though. Let's go back around again. Okay. <laughs> it's really hard to sneak up behind people. Because at any moment they can just turn around and instantly spot you and you can't. You can't do anything about it, it seems. It seems like... Oh, fuck. I rest my- I rest my case, I guess. Jesus Christ. Are you fucking done? <laughs> oh god, another one's going up to do it. There we go. Is the other guy going up there too? Alright, I heard this game was kind of hilarious and I guess I'm getting it now. The AI is bizarre, what is it doing? Apparently that was the secret to taking everything out, was just to shoot that one spot a bunch of times. Really undoes the whole infiltration thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh.
Where'd he go? Oh god, he's here. Got him. <laughs> Back up. Full of pistol. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Surprisingly hard to see people. Okay. Is he coming up? <laughs> Is this game real? <laughs> Brought to you by the creators of Outer Worlds. Plus or minus several employees, perhaps. From the developers of Fallout New Vegas and Outer Worlds. This gun gameplay. Oh god, is that another one? Okay. I don't I don't know how useful shotguns are gonna be, honestly. I thought I don't ah, I thought I'd want one, but like the range of these fights is not mixing well for that kind of thing. And to make them most effective, you have to, like, charge them up for a while. Ow, shit. Thank you, healing pack, for existing. Exploding barrel! It was not entirely effective. I just leveled up in the middle of a guy about to shoot me. <laughs> like, this is the guy pointing a gun at me right now, and I'm like, level up. I'm like, uh, this is not necessarily the time. I don't know, I guess we can find out whether or not a few more points into stealth actually makes it work or not. Ah! Uh... Let me see if I can destroy these crates before they get shipped down. I don't know how that guy wasn't already shooting me. I, I just shot his friend standing next to him. And that's the last of them. Well done. Now for the tower. Apparently the first of them was also the last of them. Yeah. Eh. 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 <laughs> You cannot stand against my might. Ah! Can I shoot from behind cover if my if my camera could see around cover? Is it one of those games? Because that's very exploitable. Okay, really, I can't jump over these? What? <laughs> Like sometimes the only way, the best way past the camera is to hop over those kinds of things. Throat chop. What was that? <laughs> Successful stealth for a second here. Oh, yeah. Why did I suddenly get bad at that? Okay, there we go. 
If you do not open the safe in time, it incinerates the contents. Get fucked, Boyo. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well, how did I not get caught just now? Up. Oh. Goodbye, stealth. Second guy. I'm gonna need that level 5 stealth just so I can see through walls and continually know where everyone is. Otherwise, I'm gonna keep getting surprised. And a moment of surprise is an instant failure. Only of stealth, not of the game. Ah, uh, that says he did it eight. Yep. Done. Transmitting the logs now. Why, thank you, Mr. Thornton. It seems you found the all Samad flight records. Can't wait to analyze these. I'm guessing we have not transmitted them to her yet, so she can't analyze them yet. Ah! There's someone coming. They're right here. Where do you go? Air conditioner place? I can't climb up there. That's the bottom of a zip line. Being up here might be completely useless. Maybe you were able to jump in from that direction, I guess. This must be an alternate endpoint. No, I tried to I tried to get health and, st and instead I got stealth. <laughs> and I fused into the wall. It hurt my back. I'm gonna need surgery now. There we go. Take the XP where you got it. How are we doing overall? That's my local map. Defeat his elite, completed. Defeat it, secu disable security, completed. Infiltrate out field, bypass, checkpoint, destroy weapons, cache. It's all done, just gotta bug that tower. Straight ahead. What's up here? Is there anything behind here, or is it just another way in? That's just another way in. Is this where the guys are coming from? No, that, that's not where the watchtower was. Thought it might have been where the hilarious dudes were coming from. Add this to the list of games with double hinged doors. Just kidding, that's every game. Making a list of that would be very stupid. You said I got all the elites already, game. How could you lie to me? I guess he didn't count as a side objective because he was a mandatory encounter. All right. Receiving. Link strong. We're good. Now get out of there. Oop. Automatic extraction. All right. Not my um. Not my favorite. <laughs> I'm definitely, I'm definitely a stealth guy, not a run and gun guy. Most of the time, I play games like this, but stealth feels impossible. Mike, you made it back from the airfield. I was worried that once you were spotted, security was heavier than I was expecting. Still, I should have been more careful. I noticed the security. It may be a good sign. It means the airfield is important to Al Samad. It may be a problem in the future, though. If Shahid feels we're on to him. He'll bring his elite guard in, which could make your upcoming missions more difficult. 
I'll have to be on my guard then. Not much else to be done. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. We have Parker and some of the other analysts on it now. Shouldn't be much longer. All right then. Let me know when she found something. Will do. And again, good job. What did the dossier option even do? Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Hmm. I, it definitely seems ideal to plant a bug in a mission where you don't trip any alarms. Because <laughs> the moment you're tripping all the alarms, it feels like planting the bug is almost like pointless, right? Exit safe house, so this just means picking one of the missions. Just seems like if you're planting a bug, you definitely don't want to get caught. Whereas I killed everyone there, which you think they would search for a bug at that point. Not a, not a great plan. The CIA is that guy, apparently. I don't know why it shows his face specifically. CIA agents assigned to field work are given basic training akin to law enforcement officers. They aren't hardened soldiers, but they know how to use their firearms. Recruited for their perception and intuition, field agents make better sentries than soldiers. They're hard to ambush, but poor contenders in a determined shootout. The consequences of attacking or murdering any of these agents, however, are steep. Agents harmed or, or killing any CIA agent are going to find their intelligence work in the field severely hampered. So, fucking crazy thing. Maybe don't shoot the U.S. agent as a U.S. agent. That might not go well for you. Shahid is a suspected financier of terror bombings in Europe and is believed to have had several al Samad cells buried in Europe and Asia, ready to carry out terrorist attacks. One such cell in Europe is believed to have led by, be led by Jibril al-Bara, a professor who has recently gone into hiding and is wanted by both the National Security Administration for financial irregularities and Interpol for questioning. Darcy's career with the Alpha Protocol hasn't prevented him from being sidelined from hands-on work. To make matters worse, Darcy's position at the CIA, and again at Alpha Protocol, has made him extra safe at a request from his father, Senator Patrick Darcy. He has connections. Probably why he brags so much. be compensated if conflict arises in Asia. Legislation being discussed on Capitol Hill would assist with relocation costs for operations based in countries considered hostile to the United States. Detractors in both parties have attacked the bill as a massive bailout for companies that have outsourced American jobs. China and India are the largest destinations for offshore operations, with everything from manufacturing to software development being produced overseas for American businesses. Tensions continue to rise in the Far East as Taiwanese President Ronald Sung's independence rally approaches. The controversial politician has the Chinese government worried that he will formally declare independence, an action that would almost certainly lead to war. High-level White House sources have told INN News that should China attempt to forcibly block a Taiwanese move for independence, the U.S. Navy will take, quote, any and all measures to prevent Chinese aggression. Meanwhile, the president, on a goodwill tour of Africa, issued a statement urging all parties to remain calm and rational and to let diplomacy prevail. In Washington today, Senator Patrick Darcy unveiled new legislation aimed at cleaning up the federal government by greatly restricting lobbyists' access to legislators. That's the pork thing again. So we've looped around again. Oh, I, it stood out to me the reuse of the word of the name Darcy. But now we know specifically it's connected to our, it is connected directly to our agent here. Their family. From Alan Parker. Tracking bug. Confirming that bug is live and responding within normal parameters. All inbound and outgoing communications from the control tower are showing up in our servers. Flight records from from Mina Tang. Hey, Mike. Uh, good find on the flight record data. 
Shahid's definitely been through the airfield a ton, and the records have some rather incriminating evidence about some other visitors to the airfield. I'll fill you in after I've researched them some more. Anyway, with the bug in place, we should be able to intercept Shahid next time he's inbound. Mina. That was a response to the warm welcome message. You're quite welcome. I appreciate the pleasantries, though I'd wager after a month or two at the agency you'll lose whatever good graces you've learned in life before the protocol. Stay sharp. This job will kill you. Wah wah. I imagine there's going to be like an in internal bust up amongst our agency at some point in the game, as is often due in this genre. In which case I fully expect some, um, one of us to die, or some other characters to die in the group. Alright, so I spent a bunch of resources on a shotgun, and then using it in the field, I was like, oh, this kind of blows. So we'll see. I assume there's no silencer for the for the uh, rifle. If anything, I could use, like, accuracy. Accuracy plus one. Is there anything better? Nah, it doesn't get accuracy boosts much. There's just more and more expensive guns. If I save up for another whole mission, I can buy this tactical utility armor. Which is just, it's just more of everything. I imagine that if I go after the arms dealer, he's probably well defended, so if I... Things could go one of two ways, potentially, I think, if I go after the other missions first. One, if I take out the other two places first, then uh, Nazri is more likely to know that I'm coming. And if he knows I'm coming, then he's more likely to be prepared, and things might be really fortified. On the other hand, there's the opposite interpretation offered by the game, which is that his elite forces are around, and if I'm wiping them out and causing mayhem and problems in the other missions, then he actually might be less defended. It kind of could go either way, but it does seem like the, these three missions each affect each other what choices you go in them. I'm kind of choosing to save him for last and see what happens. Additional supplies added to the Investigate Weapon Stockpile Mission area. With a few dollars to grease the wheels, you can have Al Samad's Weapon Supplier shuttle in more weaponry at bargain rates, which you can then swipe during your mission. Hmm. That is, I mean, that's way cheaper than any of the actual weapons you can buy. Like, everything at the store is expensive, so 2800 for any number of who knows what would be really cheap. Bonus objective added to investigate weapon stockpile mission. Darcy's contact in the area is willing to provide you with special instructions on disabling the compound security. For a price, of course. Hmm. Investigate Jizan Weapons Stockpile. Reduction in enemy strength on Investigate Stockpile Mission in American private military companies offering day contracts anywhere in the Mideast. For a small fee, the PMC will run a sortie not far from Al Samad's location and draw any alert staff, leaving only the second-rate guards on duty when you show up. Hmm. Maybe all? I don't know. I don't know if I should be all in on buying intel, or if I should be reserved about it. I could kind of go either way, potentially. But I guess everything else goes into, like, physical equipment upgrades, right? Oh, this increases accuracy. It just doesn't show up as the plus. Oh yeah, because th these comparison screens are for direct changes in the gun itself. Anything that reduces... increases accuracy. Oh, fuck. Perfected rifling is 3,400 for two accuracy. I might need to... I might want to hold on to what I've got and use it for additional savings for the next mission. That might be wise.